This is an FX air gun right here. I'm Donald Duck. And uh, I surely did not expect to have one of these, but fate brought this to my door. Basically, I saved about $2,000 to buy a fancy rifle. And Ann shoots. Shot to the heart, and you're too late, darling. You give love a bad night. Hey, you give love a bad night. And then I saw this. And it was such a good deal, I had to buy it because my original plan was to take the scope out of this little package here, then resell the gun, and I'd end up getting that Mamba Light for like $100. But now, I haven't even opened this, and I already want to keep it. Look at that. Beautiful box right there. All right, everybody, it's the FX Crown in Walnut, yay! Yay! Oh, man, badass. Wow, so right there is a FX Crown in Walnut. Super cool. This one came with a Mamba light. This is about a $400 scope. There you go, check out that reticle. Yep, there it is. So that's going to be a lot of fun to shoot with. Definitely. Especially when I'm working with windage and stuff like that. This gun sells for $17.99 in the Walnut. So I had the Donnie FL adapter included, as well as I think, I'm not sure, if, yeah, this is the telescoping shroud, I believe, too. Long story short, I thought I would resell this, keep this badass MTC scope. I can already tell I'm not going to be able to get rid of this gun. It's so badass. Now, I was looking for on here for the caliber, but they don't list the caliber on here because it's interchangeable. You find the caliber right back here. Look at that magazine, it's just crazy. So I can't wait to shoot this. You can see that the wood is just like, you know, beautiful. beautiful of course it's gonna work awesome too. So it's got a more vertical grip and this is a place where you can depress, you know, put some pressure on the gun if you want, if that helps you to hold it still. The guy I bought it from adjusted the trigger to make it lighter, so it's got a nice, I'm going to call it a match trigger weight on there. They tilted the trigger a little bit to one side to uh, fit your finger perfect, so I'm going to leave it like that too. There's a nanometer for my tank and a nanometer for my regulator right there, and that little cover, no fill probe needed for the FX Crown, super cool. That carbon fiber bottle is just like smooth and shiny. The butt pad right there is adjustable 3D. I'm gonna let my crown hang out in uh, the main room here, next to my FX Monsoon, who is always ready for action. It's a semi-auto, probably my favorite gun. I keep it ready to rock and roll, just in case I get attacked by birds or something. <laughs> well, I couldn't find my sumo just now, but I put my Huguen on there. It made the gun sound like nothing at all, but it did kick. It's a 25, and uh, when I pulled that trigger, it kicked back a little bit. Pretty awesome. Since I was gonna be shooting from the bench tomorrow, I decided to just go ahead and uh, straighten this thing out but yeah that's the uh range of motion that you have there those use two vastly different allen wrench sizes so kind of weird all right this thing's like you know off center or whatever you call it so this camera on my s8 galaxy s8 just completely sucks so i usually film with my old s7 anyway there's the crown right there so you can go like this and then when you want to tighten that down you just tighten these two little screws right here and then on top of that, you put your butt plate, which you can slide up and down. So you have a lot of range of motion in your butt pad right there. I'm going to start right there. What's up, guys? I'm at the Sporting Goods 
department in Walmart. I know you're not supposed to be filming in here, but there's actually a bunch of Walmart employees right there. Anyway, this is where good place to get a gun on a Saturday afternoon. They got all kinds of good stuff, but they have the gear right here. Here's my case right here that I got for 34 bucks for my BP-17. Really nice case. And look at these cases right here. Look how cheap they are. 14 bucks for that right there. Eight dollars. Eight dollars, you see that? And this is where I get all my targets too. These are the targets I use, they're 297. Every once in a while I'll spurge and get some of these. Of course I had to get one of these. If you shoot firearms, definitely grab one of these guys. 34. And I got a couple of these too already. This one I'm not getting because it's medium size. Okay, but I'm not gonna pay 30 bucks for it. I'd rather just pay 34 and get this bad boy. Like it even has little pads on the back. I got all this stuff already. I got one of these, got one of those, got two of those. Okay guys, that right there is my new FX crown. So you can see it's got an adjustable wheel. One, two, three, and then fine tune adjustment right there. Now, if you wanna know all the ins and outs of how to operate the crown, there's a lot of videos on YouTube where you can do that. I am just gonna shoot it. So I got this off the Airgun Classifieds, super good deal. And the guy I got it from said he didn't touch any of the settings at all. And he didn't adjust anything other than to adjust the trigger. And so the trigger has a pretty light pull on it. I like it. So that's it. This gun is completely stocked, ready to rock and roll. He did give me a Donnie FL one half UNF adapter for it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my Shogun on there, LDC and... I'm going to dedicate today to making a video all about this guy. Now, I always heard that MTCs are cool scopes because that's what Ted likes to use. And, of course, you know, I'm a Hawkeye guy because they cost maybe like between two and 400 And so I never made the jump to buy the expensive MTC scopes. MTC is owned by Daystate now. But anyway, but I have always liked the reticle that they have in these scopes are badass. And here's the thing that surprised me. One of the guys out the Airgun Forum sent me this Air Max to review. And he also sent me this stock right here to Hydro Dip. He made an arrow shooter. This is his arrow shooter stock. I'm going to go ahead and try to successfully Hydro Dip this in camouflage. And of course, we're going to learn how to do that, film all that. And of course, I'm going to review this uh, Air Max pistol in 177. So he's got it ready to go. We're going to get to that. Hopefully today I'll film some of that too. But back to the FX Crown. Now, this is a 25 caliber. It's got a a giant magazine I think it holds 18 rounds or something like that so I always expected that the crown was gonna be it looks like kind of a big clunky gun I mean am I right it looks like a big piece of wood so I don't know if, if it's the mamba light that's giving me this feeling but when I picked it up it seemed like about the lightest air gun I ever held and it's probably the balance as well but it is so well balanced and so not heavy it could be because of this Mamba Light, you know, maybe this Mamba Light is like super, super lightweight. I'll have to check on that. But anyway, I really liked it. It's not a heavy gun. It's a well-balanced, lightweight gun. But to continue my story, I was going to resell this gun. But if I keep it, then I'll be able to test out slug liners and things like that. Because if uh, you guys don't know, any of you newbies that aren't familiar with the Crown and the Smooth Twist X barrel system, you can change this barrel out with any caliber... So I can make this FX crown any caliber, and then they come out with new barrels that they can pretty much print on a machine, you know, in about five minutes, basically. That's what FX says. So they're going to be coming out with slug liners. You can get a slug liner for the kind of slug you want to shoot, and just swap it right out. And so I could have any caliber and any barrel for any ammo, basically, if I hold on to this FX uh, crown. So I'll probably try to hold on to it. It's a cool gun. Anyway, today it's going to be dedicated to shooting it, so enough talk. Okay, guys, I got my Shogun on there. That's my adapter right there. Now, this is a telescoping shroud, so I could actually pull this out for different levels of moderation, but I'm just going to leave it. Now, down here, I have two manometer, 
manometers, okay? They're not called nanometers, which I used to call them. They're called manometers. Apparently sometimes I don't watch the, sh I don't watch the news. So uh, anyway, I have no clue as to which is the regulator and which is the air tank. So actually I'm gonna guess that this one is the air tank because it is closest to the air tank. Now the cool thing about the crown, quick disconnect right there. Ready to go, so you don't have to worry about losing your fill probe or nothing like that. You just put your uh, SCBA tank or whatever, PCP tank, or your hand pump right on there, and you're ready to rock and roll. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up to 250 bar. 250 bar is the max on it. There we go. There's a nice clear shot. Let's do this. So I'm going to 250 bar. All right, now luckily that didn't hit me in the face, but it almost did. That would have been classic. Take two, FX air up. Okay, there we go, so let's try this again. I put a new end on here, so hopefully that'll work a little better. That snapped on there firmly. Looks good. It's working this time, that's good. All right, that's cool. It might have some that makes it so you have to fill it up slow because I opened my tank all the way. It was still just creeping up there. That's cool though. See that right there? That's my cat. My cat's hardcore out here in the rain. And uh, me and you are hardcore too because we're out here in the rain too. So, oh, wait a second. I got a cushy umbrella there. So, on this rainy, foggy day, I'm going to do my 35 yard shooting over here. So, let me just show you. My FX crown is going to be right here on my rifle rest, 35 yards away. I got some cinder blocks with other stuff behind it so I'm gonna hang my little targets off there and hopefully get some one hole groups with the FX Crown 25 caliber better do one hole groups at uh, 35 yards so maybe this is the first time I'll ever actually shoot a one hole group because if it's a big ragged hole I say it's one hole but in reality one hole is one hole so if you can put it through the same hole that the last pellet went through that's a one hole group so I'm hoping that the FX Crown 25 is gonna do that today I expect it to this is perfect though because no one would suspect me of shooting. I'm not supposed to do any shooting. No one would suspect me of shooting. Hey kitty cat. During a rainstorm, right? I mean, am I right? Where are you going? What's up? I just want to pet you. What? What? Can I pet you? <laughs> oh, my cat doesn't want to be involved. Probably a good thing. Alright, I'm watching you. I'm always watching you. All right, who's counting, right? That was like 15 shots or something. There's a dime right there. So uh, I got a lot of them through a dime-sized hole. That's what 18 shots did to a cinder block, so. Got a little ways to go before we're all the way through. 
So let's try that again with my official square targets. So these are 25 grain JSB pellets at 35 yards away. Darn, I wish you guys could see any of a flashlight, but this goes, the main hole goes through the cardboard and through the cinder block back there. Oh my gosh. Don't even tell me. Uh, I gotta take this target down. Alright, so there's my dime right there. Check it out. That's 17 shots. Almost under a dime. Very impressive. FX Crown. All right, guys, after clip number two, I guess that would be 18 times two, 36 shots. I'm at 200 bar, exactly. I don't really care about the win. Here we go. Oh, yeah, wait. I want to tune this in and see if I can get it in the actual bullseye. Full impact left. There we go. All right, so I have 15 shots left. Here we go. I'm going to put 15, hopefully, in this ring right here. That would be amazing. Look at that beautiful crown bullseye, you guys. That's a crown right there, FX crown. It, everything they said it would be. As far as I'm concerned. Holy crap. Oh, just ruined everything. Good job, crown. No, I ruined it because I wasn't relaxed. I didn't do that. You know, it seems like when I concentrate, it does go in the hole. So I think I'm just shooting sloppy, trying to let the gun shoot the bullseyes for me, but... You gotta do your part. You gotta aim it. Follow through is really important, like your... Crosshair should be on the target after you hit it. All right, 15 shots, not too bad. But uh, I think we can do better. Let's try this again. I'm at 180 bar right now, so I'm gonna shoot out the corner of this diamond, each of these diamonds right here, and see how many clips this will do.
crap. I almost got that all through one hole. And uh, I said I got nervous on this one shot in it and it went wrong. And then I got back on track and I got them all back in there. But wow, just pellet on pellet, this thing. Crazy awesome. Yeah, that's a dime size group right there, except for there's like one flyer. So I'm going to shoot this other corner out, you guys, real fast. I'm at 170 bar right now, so I'm going to try to shoot another clip right in here. So basically that tip right there, that little point right there, the tip of the diamond is the size of, uh, size of nothing. All right, so I'm going to aim for that piece of nothing right there. That one was like so through the same hole, it like swished it. Didn't even touch the edges of the hole. This thing's just printing them. Now, I think that any of the messing up is me because as soon as I start to get a super great group, I start to get nervous. This guy set the trigger at like one, one pound, so it's, I'm really liking that. So guys, it's, it's blowing the wind right now and it has no effect on 35 yards, at least for, yeah, really no effect. It's not like you're going to get a flyer because of the wind or really a flyer for any reason, I don't think, unless you've got a load of bad pellet in there. See, I'm just pulling the trigger regardless of the wind and it's not doing nothing. Of course, if you stretch it out to a long distance, I think that's where it starts to make a difference. I'm loving this NPC scope too. I like the reticle. A couple dime sizers there. All right, you guys, I'm at 150 bar exactly. So I think we got one more 18 round clip in, in this bad boy. Today's show is brought to you by Umarex for all your air gun needs. We're gonna make this guy root off the pellet nose rain squirrel. You know what? I need to make a click. There's your problem. I needed to come click over so I could actually hit what I'm aiming at. Let's see if that worked. Yep. All right, and now we're gonna do both his ears. Good, ear tip. Shoot, I'm gonna count that. And his eyeball. Holy crap, did that go straight through his eye? Sure shit did. All right, now we're gonna brain this dude. Now we're gonna take him out in the uh, vitals of his head. Here we go, headshot. All right, so let's see what's doing on the bullseye. I'm gonna just keep clicking over till I can get this in the bullseye. Let's see. All right, guys, that's five clips, and it is more or less still hitting where I was aiming at. So, all right, guys, so my tank pressure is at about 140 bar. It looks like my regulator pressure is about there too. So my guess is it's time to refill. 90 shots in this 25 caliber, full power. Very, very nice. Good job, FX, air guns, if that's your real name. 
All right, you guys, another thing about these is they're really easy to load. So once you do the normal wind-up thing like a Marauder magazine, you just take these and drop them in there, and they just fall right in. Like, watch how fast I can do this. And then look how many it holds, too. A huge amount. So the butter smooth action on this FX Crown is just butter smooth. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So with one hand, I just go like this while I'm shooting. You just, you're shooting like this, you just reach up, go like that, super easy. You got this little notch right here. That basically just slides right over there like that. There, it goes in kind of sidewaysy, and like that, that's it. I'm just gonna shoot my dump trailer right there. That's how easy it is, you can do it with one hand like that. All right, you guys, so we saw some excellent groups at 35 yards. I do recall this was a whole clip right there, 18 shots, and this was just uh, one of my on-the-fly ones, not even really trying. So that was 35 yards, simple. And 50 yards was a little harder. Now, I just went out there and was flinging some rounds off, not really concentrating too hard, but I clipped my crosshairs around kind of sided it in and these were the last two where I concentrated really hard and it was getting almost too dark to see but check this out 50 yards the five shot group look at that covered by a dime five shot group my first try at uh, well I guess not my first try but my first uh, let's say 10 minutes of 50 yard shooting with the crown I got a five shot dime sized group and boom boom in the room room almost did it again so and it was so dark i couldn't even hardly see so i think uh, with some skilled shooting you could get some dime sized groups at 50 yards no problem so the crown okay it's so accurate and at 35 yards after shooting it i didn't know what to expect you know i didn't know um it's almost like you get lazy and you just stop trying to get it in the hole because it kind of goes in the hole anyway. And so I got used to that. So I didn't know, like, do you just point it in the general direction of the target and it goes in the bullseye every time? Like, that's literally, like, kind of how I was thinking. And so it almost does, but you do have to do your part. Like, it's still fun to shoot. It's super accurate, but, you know, you can... How accurate are you? That's the question. So it's a lot of fun. I had a ton of fun shooting that thing. There's my quick style review of the FX Crown 35 and 50 yards. Now, I haven't even begun to scratch the surface on what this gun can do. I mean, we could go and turn these dials and then 
chronograph it and s figure out all kinds of stuff. You can dial your gun in for any pellet or slug you want to shoot. Furthermore, you can get a barrel for any pellet or slug you want to shoot. So I want to get a hold of those FX people and see what's going on with those slug liners. For instance, let's say that I decide that I want to shoot NSA ammo. Just go ahead and I think the barrels are under $100. It's like around $100 for, for the barrel insert, basically. And you just pop this in and out. And there you go. Definitely, like, if you're going to get one air gun, you should get this crown or, like, a Red Wolf because it's a bunch of guns in one, you know? You can change your caliber anytime and just endless possibilities with this bad boy. So, really, I would say that this FX crown is the ultimate air gun. So, there it is, guys, all suited and booted. Great deal. You can get these walnut versions. You know, when you get this gun, you're going to want to use it. You're going to want to play with it. You're not going to want to leave it on the shelf. So, you might think about getting that walnut and save a little money. Also, this walnut version, the standard price on Airgun Classified used for this bad boy is $1,500. So, anytime you want, you just look on there and within a couple days, you'll see a crown walnut for $1,500. So, good deal. I have a feeling I'm going to be back with a lot of videos on this FX crown. So that's it for today, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.